Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It's been pretty much a rainy day all day today, but there's still pretty good light up in the sky. So again, best of both worlds. Water tanks are overflowing, and all solar systems are fully charged. And I've been making good progress today. I got the inverter mounted. This is going to get tightened up here real quick now. Uh, in this video. <laughs> yeah, the most time-consuming aspect of all of this has been getting the wires laid out, uh, had to make some new crimps, going over everything, looking at the instructions, <laughs> and just making sure that I've got it all in my head and run through it about 20 times before I'm really ready to disconnect uh, the current power that's running going to take that charge or inverter out of here, going to take that shunt out of here, and it's all going to go together pretty darn quick right now. Yeah, this is the most time consuming, making new uh, wires and crimps and making sure uh, that I've got it all laid out the way I want to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my power now and start taking things apart to put the new stuff in. But yeah, I thought I was going to put that inverter a little bit lower, but it's going to work out better up there. And I got up to 100% full here, even running a couple of lights, <laughs> but that's uh, not a problem. Just running a couple of lights up in here and it's still pretty light, so I can go ahead and, and get this taken apart real quick. Going to shut those solar panels off first, disconnect the power, and then I'll be safe to start turning wrenches where I need to. Well, I did move a few things around and I'm pretty happy with this configuration uh, at the moment. The only thing that I still have to do is, uh, and I won't do that today because I'm beat. It always takes longer than you think it's going to. <laughs> Took me a few hours for sure to get this uh, all done today. And I'll walk over what I did. But the one thing that I still want to do is get a breaker in on my uh, charge controller. And I've got one. I've just ran out of gas. But I'm pretty well there now. So I'll walk you right through. So, yeah, the leads went in real nice there, like we thought. And I got them positive going through that 125 amp fuse there. And I've got all the covers here for this stuff, but I wanted to leave it open for you. Uh, what else? Got the shunt up and running. And there it is on the app, 100%. I've got two lamps on right now. And it says I'm drawing 12 watts, and that sounds about right. Although it did say 20 watts a while ago. But um, anyway, I'll get used to all of this stuff. I had to make some new crimps copper lugs along the way that took the most time was getting all of that done and the other thing i didn't do exactly like it said in the instructions was was hook up that red uh positive lead off the shunt to the battery actually itself but i did try i did try to put it over here and you know as thin as that little connection was you know, those M8 terminal bolts are so short, I couldn't get a good bite back into that battery. So what I did is I just ran it back and put it right there on the bottom of the bus bar. So same difference, yeah, shouldn't make any big difference, I don't think. And I did stick a fuse right there off the, the uh, positive cable of the battery as well. So I got the battery fused, got the inverter fused, and like I said, I'm going to stick a breaker in there. That's why I've got all that extra wire wound up because I may uh, move it over into here and I want some extra wire. But yeah, I'll get to that maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so the, the inverter is on. And let's look at the, the apps that I've got now. So this is the smart shunt. And there's a lot of different things in there that I can uh, show you that I... You know, I did set it to the, it knew that it had a 200 amp hour battery bank. I didn't even have to adjust that. Um, and it was 100% full. So I did press 
Uh, there's a blue button right there that said set to 100%. So I did set that, but end of the day, I'm tired. I don't know exactly what all this means. Uh, one of you did comment on me on what to set the tail current. I did uh, take note of what you said, and thank you, Matt, for that. Appreciate all your uh, great detailed information. I will go back at that when I don't have the brain fog going on, but for tonight, this is going to be good enough. And then I did hook up also that VE Direct. I pulled that off that 24 volt system like I said I was going to, and it did plug right into there. No problem. And let's see what that says there. <clears throat> Okay, so that reads more of along the lines of what everything else was saying. About 22. Let's look here. 0.7 amps being drawn. Yeah, there it is. Now it says 22 watts. So that's about right. Got 19 watts of solar still coming in. And it's... it's uh, Gosh, it's about five o'clock in the evening, so that's about it for sunshine today. But uh, it did get all the way charged, of course, looking good. Everything's looking real good. So what else can we see here on the, this is the uh, charge controller. Shows 19 watts coming in, still in the absorption phase. It was in the absorption phase and pretty much just at 14.2 when I disconnected everything. So yeah, pretty happy about all of this. That smart shunt. The one thing that I do miss about that other shunt was just having uh, the gas gauge uh, visible. You know, I just always had it sitting there where I could see the percentage state of charge real quick. So you know what I'm gonna have to get now. <laughs> oh well, so it goes, and that's okay. I do like, I really did like having that uh, gas gauge, but I am glad I got this smart shunt, and I've got more to learn on all of this stuff, of course, but yeah, that's how it came together. Pretty nice. Looks a lot better than it did. So the other thing about, I wanted to mount this <clears throat> smart shunt on the wall, actually, but as you can see, it's more, you know, the mounting holes are for down on, you know, down onto something. So I may put a, like a block of, you know, of wood right there to where I can put that up there and then screw it down. Because I do kind of like looking at it like that. I could have obviously turned it sideways and screwed it up to the wall. But I'm just trying to keep everything uh, pleasing to the eye and horizontal. So I may... Uh, do something like that. I'm going to have to put a block up there to make that fasten down. But yeah, I like that. But yeah, now I'm going to have to get the gas gauge because <laughs> I really do like those. And that gray wire on the shunt is in case you had an auxiliary battery, you know, an extra battery, uh, it can read that as well. And then that VE direct uh, cable uh, was not for the inverter. I didn't think it was. And it is for you know, another device like that GX device, but I don't know if I'm going to get that. I don't think I'm going to need it for my purposes up here. One of the things that I really like is that I'm going to be able to like watch uh, when I start discharging batteries and things for testing and stuff, I'll be able to really watch it in here off that smart shunt and see, you know, how many amp hours have been consumed. So that's going to be great. You know, I've never had anything like this where I could could watch it so good on the discharge. That other shunt does do that, but I have to go always go in there and bump it up manually. You know, uh, it's a little more involved to do capacity tests with that other shunt, but this should, this should make that really nice and easy, which is one of the reasons that I wanted that smart shunt was for things like that. But yeah, so I just got a couple of lights starting to get a little dark out there but and i'm tired but yeah i'm pretty happy with the wall and there it is with all these covers back on looks pretty nice there's a plastic cover over that fuse and of course over the bus bars 
But yeah, it was pretty easy. It did take me, of course, longer than I thought it was going to, but uh, you know, I kept going back and forth and I did move the bus bars a little bit, as you can see, but pretty happy with it. So the only thing that gave me kind of fits was this shunt here, uh, getting this the way I wanted to, because I did want it facing forward. I guess that's really not a big deal, but you know, I got kind of uh, fussy about that. Um, so, you know, I might just wrap some straps around these, you know, the base of it there and fasten it to the wall that way. I would like to have it up on the wall as opposed to sitting here on a foam block, but that's going to be good enough for tonight. And I'm going to call it a day. Yeah, I'm liking it. One interesting thing, this inverter, um, it's the third Phoenix that I've got. I've got a, tw a 24 375 and a 12 375. Love them both. They work great. It is making just the slightest hum. I'll see if you can hear it. I mean, it's barely perceptible, but... Uh, and I notice on the other ones, when I am running a heavier load and stuff... You'll hear it uh, run just a little bit, you know, but not too loud at all, but that's pretty quiet. But it, there is a audible hum to it, just barely. And I'll just try to see if that eco mode will work. I have noticed on the other one, you have to, it has to be sensing a pretty decent load. I don't know exactly how much it has to be sensing for it to kick on but this is just in the straight on position right now so if i turn it off of course it'll go kind of dark in here which it did and then i'm going to flip it over to eco and see if it'll catch those lights yep it did so that's cool that's good so i know i'm drawing oh yeah so it might be need more than 22 watts to keep it on. Yeah, it keeps pulsing just for a moment, but it won't stay on. So it must need a bigger draw than just these two lamps that I've got going on. So I'll put it back on just regular on. And there it goes, nice and sustained. But these are very low wattage light bulbs I'm running. I mean, they're only, you know, a few watts a piece. I, that's kind of what I run out here. Efficient LEDs. But yeah, the two of those uh, wouldn't kick it out of or on in the eco mode. So I have noticed that on the other one too. I'll have to figure out exactly how many watts it takes to make that eco function properly. All right. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm thinking about some food now. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I like it. My blue wall. All right, you guys. Have a good one. Aloha. I'll catch you later. All right. Come on. You can come up now. Come on. Come on. There you go. <laughs> uh, just got to put all the tools away now. The end of a very successful day. Always feels good. Let's see if I can get down to the house without getting wet. Yeah. Oh, no, here it comes as soon as I said that. <laughs>